Video 113 February 21, 2014 Mithi, the lack of news has left friends somewhat apprehensive. Could you get ahead of anything else at this timeline of the events? Friends, I can forward you some information on the planned realignment that Community Galactica is dealing with. Of which we had some access. Three planets in the system should be adjusted on new orbits. In comfortable zone for colonization with humanoid life. Beyond Earth, and TOS. The planets Mars and Venus should be realigned to humanoid comfort zone. That is, three new habitable planets beyond Earth will be an integral part of the system. With life bearable in your solar system. See, these data are unofficial. We do not know the exact ways that scientists will use to this big operation but big objects. Was sent to be part of this operation of orbital realignment. This involves the realignment of all the other planets of the system to new orbits. So there is a natural equilibrium of the new arrangement. Can you imagine how the precision and the number of forces that will be necessary to realign the great Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune to integrate new partners into the system without major traumas? But friends, whether this is a key year for completion of changes. Be assured that we are here to support communities. The planet Earth will never be the same. Its crust will be remodeled for the new configuration of the planet. When you throw a stone into a lagoon, dozens of rings are formed and propagate in progression. Until they become large and weak to the point of disappearing, such a change in the system will cause reactions that propagate long after the rearrangement itself. During this period, your societies will take advantage to rearrange the planet for this new reality. With the help of many friends who will be officially presented to you in the course of those times. Many of these large objects will be noticed by you circling the solar system during these times. Very heavy equipment will be working here until things stabilize. The sun will respond to gravitational stimuli caused by these changes. But everything is calculated to have less direct impact on the humanoid life on planet Earth. Unfortunately much of your flora and fauna will be lost momentarily. Especially those beings who depend on geomagnetic orientation. The only way things may get out of control will be if some insane principles of your society opt for cause natural disasters, in order to eliminate the population to prevent that we can help these people in the resumption of the planet. This is the major motivation of your elites to decrease the population, to reduce the chances of societies or ethnic groups that they may not wish to be ahead of the development of the next phase of the planet. The less people available the easier it is for them to control the planet with the chosen by them. Therefore, be attentive to any false flag, false events and false information. Do not count on the help of your governments, try to organize civilly with your friends, family and communities if possible. You have the free will to plan and prepare. For any period of difficulties they try to make you pass. Chances of you receiving help. In these times will be quite large, especially for those who are aware and prepared to recognize it. Have you noticed that your government has no more moral conditions of concealing facts as had at other times? More and more researchers begin to talk and tell you about the facts that cannot be glossed over. The arrival of new objects inside the solar system will not be possible to be omitted or contradicted. Even that those responsible for information being eliminated. Therefore, the elite is no longer able to cover up the facts, and you will have the time. 
to take precautions and review your concepts to be part of this great transformation as adders. Integrated in the development planned for this new age. Your people are losing perspective. Your young people are aimless, you are increasingly in the hands of a few. Depending your social life and your interests based on communication and consumption that are increasingly smaller options. Imagine that you are being directed to a funnel, which will be impossible to leave if you would like to survive socially. This type of targeting is all they want, and if they do not stop by the force of events, you are doomed to live in the funnel, to grow in the funnel and to die in the funnel. A funnel with the outlet ever more closely targeted to the interests of few. Myth of the NASA activities are suspended with respect to manned flights in our orbit. You believe that they are planning some other kind of action by installing powerful lasers in large aircraft. Navy ships and even in the ISS? Well, in the first phase of the space program with Challenger vehicles. They seized improperly in stellar monolith marking, which was in orbit. This was considered a deliberate act of theft technology. As the monolith was a scientific unit of the community Galactica. In 2003 already with Columbia vehicles, there was an attempt to overthrow the ship that you call Black Knight. Aiming to explore technology after recovering the ship down on the surface of Antarctic. They wanted to install an explosive charge that would take the spacecraft from its orbit of 13,000 years. Defined by the researchers of Epsilon Buddhas. They were prevented by the force field, and even having been warned. They were instructed to blow multiple loads in perimeter of the field strength in an attempt to destabilize the spacecraft. Failure to follow the warnings had drastic consequences as you know. From this fact, your governments were reported for not returning to travel on the orbiter. Until the new social policy is established on the planet. All flights, manned or unmanned will be escorted by Pleiadians patrols to prevent that cause no major problems. Or carry weapons of any kind. Your primitive space station has been repeatedly protected from being destroyed by the intervention of those patrol ships. Because without any force field it is subject to disintegrate by the simple shock of your own trash. Or micrometeors that currently abound in the system. With respect to your laser cannons, not even cause cracks in the paint of any spacecraft. Do not forget that any spacecraft moving here can get a few miles of your sun without being affected. All have impenetrable force fields, far beyond what your scientific imagination can suppose. About maze of very ancient tunnels and old bases that exist on your planet. They were made by way of forming channels of communication between different cultures. Where ships service driving along without interfering with other cultures and even with reptilians hunters. Who swarmed the planet hunts primitive reptiles. We are talking about the time when the dinosaurs had not yet left the planet before the last ice age. These tunnels exist on Mars, Moon, and thousands of other planets for colonization or simple mining process. Much equipment was left in these mazes by civilizations who researched and cultivated colonies here on Earth. Most were left and persists still protected by some type of field to avoid being removed by unwary. Today there are no more conflicts in this quadrant that justifies the use of these tunnel systems here on your planet. So they are totally abandoned and many have been interrupted by tectonic movements long ago. Even though technology has long outdated and archaic, are far ahead of yours. For you have an idea how you friends are still at the beginning of the path. With respect to the planet and its changes taking place. 
I believe I do not need to repeat all that has been said to you earlier. I already gave all necessary guidelines to good perceivers like you. Natural disasters are the destination. But the worst disaster you will have to deal with, will be your governments. Lots of insane people are in charge of your societies, it is with them that. You have to be careful to dodge the smartest way possible. There are just laws used for the common good and unjust laws that seek to perpetuate the social subservience. These should not be followed or accepted by the conscious of the planet. Do not forget at any moment that friends will be here, ready to assist the restart of your new society, in a renovated planet. Special Report The Visit Well friends, as some of you already know about it. So I decided to tell some details of the visit I made to the interior of a service spacecraft of the fleet from Mantuck, Andromeda. I do not enjoy sharing my experiences, because sometimes they sound unreal through even to myself. How much more for those who are reading this? But even that is hard to believe, each decides by your inner self about it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Late last year. I was discussing a relocation of a former member of an alien team that has been lost in our society as we have done several times. When Mitha told me he had to return to the ship for some time for some unfinished business. I've said goodbye when he asked if I wanted to go with him there for a few minutes, well. I did not believe it at first because I had tried to force this bar. On other occasions over last three year without success, but he said. It's okay, I told the staff that would take you there to know. He was smart and took me by surprise, leaving no room for me to discuss the possibility of being able to carry a camera with me. When I least expected it I was in a small reception area where the roof seemed to be entirely material emitting environment light. When I finally realized that I had been transported I had a sudden pressure drop. And minutes later I was lying on a kind of litter, with a small medical touching my shoulder. She had a very sweet look, only then I realized how much Mitha was ugly for the standards of themselves. Hee <laughs> hee, a little joke, because I know he will read this story in any way. So. I immediately got up feeling completely well, and as an engineer, began to examine everything trying to understand the internal dynamics of that place. We enter a hall that looked more like a tropical living room, octagonal format, with places to sit, a very comfortable lighting, and several plants in translucent balls with water or other fluid very pretty looking and different kinds of flowers in every corner. I could not imagine that kind of environment was within a small saucer. Well, when I thought about going to one or at most too cozy to know everything, I realized that I was onto something huge with many runners, several rooms, dormitories and antechambers. Any wiring, piping, buttons, or controls, none of that. Everything is controlled mentally. I noticed about 18 people in total, at least three different races. All very friendly. Some of them made it out to take my hand and greet me as Mitha told them that we do here, funny. One of them, that Mithi introduced me as an engineer of the crew named Tissid. Explain to me that everything there is molecularly programmed and responds to mental commands of those responsible for certain functions in the crew. He took me to meet the machine room, and all I saw were eight metallic half globes with a bigger in the center and any control panel or noise in the room. A real disappointment for a zero level engineer. I asked to see the control room and he took me there. There was a panel finally. 
but to my disappointment there were no buttons or lights flashing. Or levers or joysticks. The operator passed his hand over a small brand and the ceiling. Went from metal to a special plasmic stage, and became transparent as crystal. And can see everything that was going on outside the ship and that was when I realized we were submerged in the ocean. When I looked at the floor, the floor was also transparent that is, as he commanded the whole room was becoming transparent. As if we were floating in a glass bubble, with 360 degree vertical and horizontal view. We could see everything outside of spaceship, could observe each and every detail of the external environment. Surreal thing. In that panel, there was a round frame like a large two meters metal hoop. That I remembered having seen in several other rooms, I asked about it and he requested me to ask something to the system. I asked about the factory of spaceships and a 3D image start forming, I could clearly see the planet. And the system took me to the factory where they were being assembled hundreds of ships of several formats. I felt myself lost in space, then I saw the house where Mitha lives, and the whole neighborhood. I would not leave it there for anything, the more to come to study this piece of rock with its ignorant ants. But that is why they are level 5, after all. Suddenly I felt some interesting aroma. Resembling a bit like vanilla, so I asked about food where they kept food stocks, what kind they had there. And some explained to me that the food is not there, they have a terminal in the dining rooms. That literally materializes the food that you want, and this food comes from station supplies. Specific to each planet of any of the breeds that are working on the spacecraft, that is. The other side of that machine is a permanent portal to anywhere you belong to. Unimaginable. When I realized that the time was passing, I asked how everything could be contained. In a spaceship of a maximum 80 meters in diameter by 10 meters high. And they explained to me another technology that I never knew before, and still do not quite understand how it works. He told me that everything is on another plane, linked to that ship. And the whole interior of the ship is like a permanent portal, that is, when you're in those rooms. Corridors or in the salons, you're not really on the ship, you are in a reserved space parallel to that ship. But that is an integral part of ship, weird. This fantastic technology provides a great environment in a small space. Like magic, they call spatial realignment. The program that controls it all works in real time. And it's like you pass from one environment to another without changing neither the luminosity nor the temperature. There is no visible central supercomputer, everything is programmed in the ship's molecular structure. The structure controls the internal environment, the fields of force, mobility, and maneuverability of the ship, etc. Can you imagine a technology like this? The engineer told me calmly that this technology of spatial realignment is new to them, has little more than 500 years of ours, but only in recent decades has been adapted for service spacecraft. I asked if the ship had an accident what would happen with this technology? How would be the aspect of the ship? To which he replied, well, if the ship for any reason be out of operation. It will be like an empty shell, nothing, and no crew will be seen inside. Can you friends imagine how small I felt with the simplicity of him with respect to technologies? that we will take many thousands of years to achieve? So I asked why the elites of my planet try to steal alien technology if they do not have the ability to copy it. To which he replied, 
They do not seek advanced technologies, they seek for ancient technologies. Which are liable to be better understood by your scientists, a ship like ours does not matter to them. But yes ships that fell 1000 years or more ago containing technologies more conventional. Which would allow re-engineering at some of the key functional or structural details. From this explanation it became much clearer in my head about the great efforts of the elites. In wanting to get hold of these old ships and artifacts, ancient wreckages on the moon, and even the Black Knight. At this point Mitha made me a sign that it was time to go and said goodbye to everyone, very friendly people. I apologized for the intrusion at their affairs, and went into the room where I arrived on the ship. And before I perceive I was back to where I was, saying goodbye to Mithi, and thanking him for the initiative he had for me. The only conclusion that I could get in this opportunity, is that we are still so far behind that it hurts to think about it. I hope this will give a brief idea to you about what we really are yet. Cheers.